guess he's not really the Sigma I knew anymore. He's Dr. Climb now, or, or Zero Senior, depending on how you look at it. Why? What do you mean, why? Um, well, I'm just curious why you would choose to return to a devastated planet when you could stay here. How's staying here gonna help? You aren't gonna say something idiotic about how we should wait here until Sigma changes the past, are you? You can't wait for something that's already happened. Grammar doesn't work that way. Hell, nature doesn't work that way. You following me? We've already lived through history. Sigma failed to keep the virus from getting out. About 45 years ago, Radical Six created a pandemic and the antimatter reactors blew up. That all happened. Whatever Sigma does in the past, history's not gonna change. In fact, it's because of what he did or didn't do in the past that we've got this past and present. Let me give you an example. Imagine a group of a hundred motorcycles driving down an endless freeway. Eventually, they hit a junction. The road splits in two. One freeway continues off northwest, and the other stretches out to the northeast. So one guy, we'll call him S, pipes up. Let's go northwest, he says. So they take the northwestern road. But about a mile past the intersection, something horrible happens. A semi driving the other way veers into their lane and plows through the bikers. Ninety of them die. The surviving ten are wounded, but survive. They don't stop, though. They keep riding down that highway, and eventually they'd gone 10,000 miles. Then suddenly, something happens that they couldn't have predicted. S, who had survived, suddenly has his consciousness thrown back in time. He ends up back in his own body just before they reach the junction. He remembers everything. So what does S do? What anybody would do? Let's go northeast. That means all 100 of the bikers survive to reach their destination happy and healthy. And they all live happily ever after. That's what you're thinking, right? It's a great outcome for the 100 bikers that went northeast. But what about the 10 that went northwest and survived the accident? Huh? Wouldn't it be nine people? I mean, S's mind went back in time, right? Uh, right. Okay, nine people then. What happens to the reality they were living? Does it just disappear when S changes the past? It's not as if it was only bad things that happened during that 10,000 mile trip. Maybe one of them fell in love with a woman working at a gas station they stopped at and had a child. Maybe one of them picked up a homeless kid who joined them on their adventure. That 10,000 mile journey would be full of stories. Friendships, farewells, romances. The loss of those 90 lives is horrible and unfortunate. But what would rewriting their history mean? The nine who survived lived full lives. How can it be right to just erase all that? The survivors overcame their own misery and loss and made the best they could of the hand they'd been dealt. Isn't that worth something? Isn't that the best thing that humans can aspire to? Is there really any point to a world where everything is happy? Are people who struggle for a better life just idiots? Being human is about fighting even when it seems hopeless and finding happiness even in a world that hates it. Are you saying that's worthless? If you're saying rewriting the past will erase all these other timelines, then whatever God wrote those rules can f <sighs> Look, I'm just not going to accept that, all right? You get it? If Sigma changes the past, then you and Quark will never meet. I is he right? No, it's not gonna happen. We're here right now. This is reality. Even if Sigma does change the past, we're not just gonna disappear or something. Oh, then that means we get to stay together? Good. Thanks, Kit. I understand how you feel. Why you want to return to Earth is clear. You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? No point saying anything to Dio. 
Besides, he's asleep. You were asleep too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. You have a point. Akane was in the armor in this timeline, after all. What about Sigma? Well, he's not really Mr. Sigma anymore. Of course. He is Dr. Klein now that his consciousness has returned. Yeah, but more importantly, he's the guy who brought us all here. Not a lot of warm feelings there, you know? And Akane? Never mind her. She's just like him. Not the Akane I knew. She must have seen some pretty awful things over the years. Hell, she might not even be human anymore. <laughs>